welcome to my channel or back to my channel, Jamie Fran Colors. Um, we are starting November and of course, as soon as I push record, here's an airplane for your amusement. <laughs> Alright, so we're starting into November. We just did our all of our Hannah Carlson soulmates thing and I need to change it up a little bit. And um, I had some requests to color in a Christine um, Gloria ink or Mystic Art Mirrors um, book. So I have three of her books. I love them all. They are beautiful. She has one more out at the time of this recording that is a fantasy. It's like a take on all the Disney um, princesses and stuff. And it's cute. I'm just not, I just don't have it. So we're going to be working in these books. And as a special request, I did get um, a request to color in this one particularly because so we're going to start with that one today and then maybe we'll do maybe one of each or something in the upcoming videos. Breathe. I forget to breathe when I'm doing this and then I'm like re-editing and I'm like, <sighs> I just, I don't know, forget to breathe. It's also garbage day. <laughs> I'll be recording most of this in the evening after things have settled down, but I just wanted to kind of get started while I had a minute here. So, I'm always arting because my table's always gross. Um, yeah, so we're going to start with this book. This translates to um, Daughters of the Sea, I believe. That's what I have written down, Daughters of the Sea, and I will have it, her Etsy shop linked in the description box down below which is the only place that I know of to get these books you can order order them as a physical copy or as a downloadable um, a copy I like having the book itself um, just so that I don't have to print off use up all my ink I don't have the greatest printer so um yeah but I also know that there is no way <laughs> in my lifetime that I will ever color every page and every book that I have. And so I do kind of pick and choose and I do take the pages out of the book even though these are printed on both sides. I just kind of pick and choose. And uh, yeah, so I am coloring out of here. I will be removing it. It's fine with me because it is a soft cover book and I know I'm not going to be able to color every page. So that is just me. If you would prefer to have the PDF, go ahead and order it that way. If you don't like this book at all, don't order it. Don't waste your money. But I think that she has a very um, distinct and beautiful style and I love coloring her pages. So we're going to start with this book. I'm thinking there's so many in here that are so pretty and I have flip throughs of the book. But I'm really leaning towards this page right here. I don't know. I love her doe eyes and her curly hair and this cute little fish. So I think this is the page I'm going to color. And I am leaning towards using some polychromos today, which I don't usually use. I usually use Prismacolors, but I've been having some struggles with my Prismacolors breaking, and I don't know if I have dropped my pencils, which is a very real possibility, or um, if just the last batch of pencils I got weren't great. I don't know. Anyways, I'm having some struggle with them, so I'm just going to kind of put them on the back burner for a minute and try some other pencils. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to cut this page out of the book and get my pencils and we will get started. So I'll be right back. Alright, here she is. We have her cut out. So. And then I pulled a polychromos pencils. I'll have them linked in the description down below. And I picked, I think all the colors I'm gonna need for this picture. There's not a lot. We have her skin, eyes, hair, and the fish. So that's what I kind of picked. So I'm thinking we have her skin tones and then I wanna do her hair, kind of a turquoise color. 
And then the fish, we want orange. So that's kind of what I am thinking. <clears throat> Okay. All right, so I'm going to base coat her face with light flesh. I'm just gonna use light pressure. Just easy does it. Go. It's probably so light it's not even showing up on the footage very well on the camera. But it is there and it is getting that layer down to work on top of and blend into and just to put a color on the page so we're not so intimidated by the white. Just gets it down here. <clears throat> Come down on her neck as well. And then she has a bit of a shoulder here. So we'll do that too. All right. I'm going to make sure you get this little spot as well. Okay. <clears throat> Then I'm going to work my way to darker colors. So this is cinnamon. So I want to start shading. So I'm going to keep my pressure really light and just start building that color. These pencils lend themselves very well to just light layers and just building that color up. So I've gone around the crease of the eye. I like to keep the eyelid rather light. It's kind of how I do my makeup too. I don't have much of an eyelid. I have slightly hooded eyes. So when I open my eyes all the way, you don't see any skin there. So I, but what I do see, I try to keep fairly light. So I do that in my drawings too, or in my girls, try to keep that hood of her eye really light. Just lightly filling this in. I'm just keeping a few places where we want the high highlights. So I've put like, kept her eyelid and then um, right under her eyebrow, I'm keeping lighter as well. And then we'll probably keep a highlight right there on her chin, but we'll bring this down around and around her lip. I'm gonna keep a little highlight right in the middle there of the cupid's bow. Fill in everywhere else. And this is again, very light. Like I don't even know if you're seeing it on camera yet. It's not showing up on my monitor very well yet. 
And then I want a highlight right there in the middle of her nose. So I'm gonna bring this down to this side, this down this side, and we'll just keep building on this as we add darker colors. Okay, I'm gonna put this across the bridge of her nose where those freckles are. But I'm gonna keep the highlight right there in the center and on each nostril. I'm gonna come down around her nose. And then do this side the same. So, you want around the hairline because your face is round and so um, it, it's circular. So you don't see, so there's shadows on each side because it's moving away from your line of sight. So the side of your face are going to be a little bit darker. Crease of her eye. And keeping that eyelid light and right under her eyebrow light. And come down around her nose. I'm going to keep right here the center of her forehead light as well. I'm going to bring up the side of her nose and kind of into that eyebrow a little bit. On the other side as well. Bring it up and then kind of into that eyebrow. Still keeping that lightness right under the eyebrow and right in the center. And right up in her hairline, we want darker. I'm going to build up a little bit under her eye here. I didn't get a ton there. So just build that up a little bit. Here, I'm not doing a ton on her cheeks yet because I think I'm going to want to like kind of pink them up. And then down on her neck, your neck is usually darker because your head is making a shadow on your neck. So we'll make on her neck here. And here in this crease shoulder, and I'm going to leave a highlight right at the top of her her shoulder there. ear, don't forget her ear. All right, now I don't know how much it's showing up, but I kind of have my indications now of where the highlights are, where the high points are. And now it's just a matter of building up the color. And as I go darker with my colors, I want to get closer into the shadows. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope so. So let's, oh, that's the one we just did. Okay, so let's take, this is Burnt Ochre 187. And I'm going to go over the cinnamon, but just not take it out as far. I'm going to keep it a little closer into the shadows. And so I'm just going to start building up that color. And I'm going to keep my 
pressure really light. I'm going to keep his circular motions. I'm just going to relax and enjoy the process. And I'm not going to stress out about it. Just keep my hand really light. Pressure, look how far back I'm holding my pencil. If I'm not up here squeezing, I'm really far back holding my pencil. And that's how you can tell that my pressure is just really light. And I just, if I want it darker, I'll just go over that spot again. We're just going to build up the color. Keep everything light. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to come down around her nose. I want it darker right under her nose. really light and kind of into that eyebrow we're starting to build that bridge of her nose I'm also going to pull this right across right there where those freckles are around the other side of her nose Keeping it light and just blended, pressure really light, circular motion. Just building the bridge of that nose. So cute. Okay. Now, let's come down the side of her face. Stay, keep that right point of her chin really light. And work my way up the other side. I'm still going in circular motions, they're just very kind of elongated circular motions. So that it's a nice fluid motion, really light pressure. So I have her face there, just building that color. Okay, now let's go around this eye. So we, same thing, really light pressure, circular motions, anything we want darker, we'll just go over. If we lose our point in our pencil, just turn it, your pencil so you have that point again. And if your pencil becomes dull, sharpen it, which happens more with the Prismacolors. They're much softer, so you have to sharpen them more often than you do with the Polychromos pencils. But I also, So that's a good thing. 
Polychromos pencils, I feel like you need to put more layers down though too than you do Prismos, so. I feel like they're a little slower for me to use, but they're beautiful and they do keep their point longer. So I just need to practice with them more. So this is really nice for me. Relax into layering those up and not worrying about getting this picture done so fast. It's really nice and relaxing. Pretty. I love it. Still this soft pressure, just building up that color. So nice. I'm going to put a little more color in the crease of her eye here. So I'm just going to go over it again. Build that color up a little stronger. She's got these big, beautiful doe eyes. We definitely want to accentuate. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to go back to that cinnamon that we used before. I'm just going to using very light pressure again. Just blend out a little bit. Really soft, very light, especially around her eyes here. Just blending out that color a little bit. On her nose, I'm gonna pull kind of that color up the bridge of her nose a little bit. Blend out that color. Diffuse it a little bit. This can just be very nice and relaxing. Let everything go that's happened today. Relax. I feel like Bob Ross, you know, just no worries. <laughs> just happy little trees. We're just slowly building up the color on her skin. Okay. Let's take that burnt ochre. We forgot to do down her neck, so I'm going to take that burnt ochre down under her chin. Just 
Again, soft pressure, very relaxed. Soft circles. Deepen up her neck. slowly build that color up to where you want it. Then right here, same thing. Oh, so pretty. I'm going to bring just a little bit down here. have an arm but kind of the indication of one okay beautiful we'll grab that cinnamon and just diffuse it out a little bit Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go to that light flesh and we'll kind of diffuse again. Just adding another layer of pencil, smoothing things out. Blending into those softer highlights. Okay. I'm still using very light pressure. This pencil isn't very long, so I can't hold it back too far, but I am still using very light pressure, just softly blending, softly building that color up. She's a nice pale mermaid. She doesn't see the light of day. We're going to have to do another one. Our next girl, we're going to have to have one that likes to sunbathe. <laughs> Get some color to her. She's so many different skin tones in the world. And then you get into mermaids and fantasy. And it's just limitless of the colors we can use for skin tones and it's just beautiful. I love coloring skin. If 
find it relaxing but very satisfying to watch their and kind of come alive. Okay, now let's take, <clears throat> this is Walnut Brown, 177, still very light handed, very light pressure, just want to put in some deeper, darker shadows. Give her a little more color and depth to her. looking, deciding where we want those deep dark shadows, shading, how much we want. It's all up to you. You could be using the exact same pencils on the exact same picture in the exact same order and your girl could look different. That's okay. That just makes it beautiful. I want to make this crease in her eye darker, so I'm going to pull the color down into the crease of her eye. Always being soft handed and just going over it.
pull this color into our cheeks a little bit. Just slowly, lightly, circular motions, lightening my pressure. Just kind of build a little bit into that cheek. Same on this side. Little by little. Look at that color. Okay, we'll grab that light flesh. Just do some finishing blending. Still light pressure, still circular motions, still just blending and building up that color and pull this right into those highlight areas and just give it a nice soft blend. Soft and easy. It's kind of like just doing a little once over. Making sure you got everything that you want. Checking it over. Just making sure she's just soft and pretty. Okay. So pretty. Very pretty. soft and pretty. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's grab, let's do that light flesh. We're going to give our lips some color and then we're going to wait and do the rest of her next time. So we spent a lot of time on that skin, just getting it really perfect. We're going to take some colors we're going to use on our fish. We're going to take, this is Permanent Carmine 126. And again, very soft, very light pressure. I'm going to put this along the corners of her mouth. Leaving the middle of her lips alone. Soft. Light pressure. Giving her lips a nice outline there. Okay, then we're gonna take, this is light cadmium red. We're gonna do the same thing. Just light pressure right over the carmine. Blend into that middle a little bit, but I'm still gonna leave a little bit of space there. A little bit of a highlight. over that carmine, blending it out a little bit, and maybe a little bit of highlight there. Okay, then take that light flesh and blend her out just softly. Blend all those colors together. Okay, 
you want anything darker, you can go back in and just darken it up with that permanent carmine. Okay, and there is her skin. It's light but golden. It just looks like it's glowing. Oh, I think she's really pretty. All right, this is nice. This is nice to show you how long it can take to do something, how um, little pressure it is, how relaxing it can be. I know with the, um, the Hannah Carlson pictures, I was doing a lot very quickly. And um, this, I like to just slow it down a little bit and that's kind of nice with these pictures. So I think we will finish her next time. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you like these slower, calmer videos, let me know, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm still gonna do some fast throw everything, <laughs> but the kitchen sink at my pictures um, videos as well, but this is just fun to slow it down a little bit and take my time with something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have an awesome week, weekend, that you find time to relax and color and enjoy yourself, de-stress, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.